My name is Eva Vredle and I come from the Swedish University of Agriculture Science and I have got the opportunity to talk about production and productivity. What are the big issues and trends in the developing world when it comes to productivity? Well, I have listed some of the important issues that I have thought about and what struck me first is the urbanization. Uh, a process that has been ongoing for a while and will continue of course and so urban and peer urban farming that is um, an area that I think is a big issue and um, it includes of course everything from animal health feed for the animals what breeds to use um, but also food safety we can also see that in some regions for example in Latin America we have some intensification of production and all, as well as adoption of industrial practices. So we can see some productivity develop in some areas. However, for the productivity as such in general, I am quite pessimistic. Still, still the productivity is low and this is of course mostly seen for the most poor farmers and many many different factors are the cause for this and i mean we have poor animal health and when it comes to feed the feed availability it's during many months throughout the years we lack feed the farmers lack feed and the feed they have many times are have poor quality and another example is um, breeding quite a lot of exciting talks actually about the use of genomics instead of old-fashioned pedigree recording so the question is will it ever work well maybe but I think it's a long time until it will work very good. And meanwhile, the need for infrastructure is crucial for data recording and sample collection. And grass, a key feature. So who is doing what or proposing to do what? <coughs> Here I think we actually have a slightly difficult balance between development as such and research. I think it is important that partners from universities, as I am, deals with qualified scientific research so we can support decisions and also find new solutions, uh, but we cannot or should not be part of the extension. Now here we have the local experts in extension officers, we have leaders in villagers, etc, etc. Here we have the NGOs and the industry, why not? Uh, what I think is could be valuable for the program, but here maybe I'm talking, I'm talking a bit without knowing how it is right now in the program. But maybe it could be an idea, a good idea to include more PhD students and MSc students in the program. Uh, so, and they are doing research in kind of participatory methods, and in that way also the farmers see and train and learn from researchers. So. In which issues should livestock and fish, fish position itself? Kind of difficult question and here I will rely on what you audience, your comments so I can gather them on Tuesday evening. My thought here is that livestock and fish the program should focus on the areas where livestock activity is the main income activity. And what I mean here is that, for example, if we have a dairy, dairy production, smallholder dairy farmers in some areas, it doesn't mean 
that the main income activity in the near neighboring areas is from dairy products. So we shouldn't force, or how to say, the farmers to progress in <coughs> dairy feeding if that is not the main income activity. And um, I think uh, also that we should focus on where we can see the, the best progress, progress to have high quality protein on people's plates.